Republican has been found guilty of shooting and attempting to murder a part-time UDR soldier 30 years ago. Aideen Kennedy was in court. 52-year-old Terence Gerard McGill arrived at court in Belfast with his wife and four children. He was charged four years ago with the attempted murder of Samuel Brush, now a DUP councillor at Bally in June 1981. Speaking before he went into the courtroom, McGill described the trial as a charade. It has been used as a means of uh, silencing me politically simply because I stood in the assembly elections in 2007. They had ample opportunity to arrest me over the last 20 odd years and didn't do so. This is a show trial, an utter and political, total political show trial and it is a complete and utter disgrace. Belfast Crown Court Judge Mr Justice Stevens said he was satisfied that McGill was one of the two gunmen who shot and wounded Mr Brush as he delivered a letter to a house just north of Opnacloy. He also convicted the prominent Republican of being a member of the IRA and of possessing the two revolvers which were used in the assassination attempt on Mr Brush. Alongside McGill in the dock was 47-year-old Vincent McAnespy from Akabu Close in Ocknacloy, who had denied charges against him, including possessing two revolvers and ammunition with intent to endanger life. He was acquitted of all charges. Speaking outside the court, Mr. Bush said the judge's verdicts had been a long time coming. I always believed that sooner or later the, the law would take its course, and uh, I would just like to say to any young person that might feel that they'd want to get involved in terrorism. But there's a, a lesson here to be learned today that shows that long, long may have been, but uh, uh, the, the, the law will eventually catch up with you. Mr Justice Stevens adjourned passing sentence, but McGill's defence indicated he may only serve two years in custody under the terms of the Good Friday Agreement. McGill's defence appealed that he be released on continuing bail. However, the judge refused, saying that McGill is now a convicted criminal. He's due to be sentenced in six weeks' time. Aidan Kennedy, UTV Live, Belfast Crown Court.